Okay, so hi guys. Um, once again, it's James here, and um, on our last tutorial, I showed you guys how to use some easy and basic steps to make uh, a shiny metal surface, or if you could call it an iron um, texture type surface. Um, uh, uh, you know, a shiny uh, part of it actually. Okay. So this time I'm gonna show you guys how to add some other textures to make it look a little bit more um, realistic. Um, okay, so the first thing that we're gonna have to take advantage of is this this tab right here that says uh, texture. When you click on that, then you're gonna have to click on new and. Um, um, yeah, in most cases you would see uh, clouds or something like this. Yeah, and once again, uh, if you're not familiar with the way things are going with Blender, uh, I'm currently using the uh, the, the Blender 2.68a version. Um, and um, yeah, and I hope you guys will follow me up on most Blender. Uh, you know. Um, Tools and every, uh, most Blender versions, most recent version looks a little bit similar, so you shouldn't have any problem with most other things that I'm going to be going through with you right now. Okay, so the next thing you're going to have to do is click on clouds and um, you're going to have to click on image and or movie. Okay, so this would allow you to to automatically get a movie image to Blender okay so without wasting too much time I want you guys to scroll down here and on the projection uh, click on I would say uh, sphere okay and generated that should be generated that should be fine and on the tab here that says open click on open and it should take um, this would allow you to navigate your files, okay? Um, in my case, my some of my files are going to be found in pictures, okay? So um, I'm just gonna navigate to some of my image a little bit, okay? So we go to pictures. Um, I have a couple of pictures going on around here. Um, we could choose number six, okay? Because this is my images, so um, let's see what happens when we choose number six and open up the image. And hmm, this is what we have in number six. Um, if you're not certain or not comfortable with the image you got, then uh, all you have to do is just hit the X button down here, click on the X button, and click open again. Go back to folder or Anywhere you keep, you have your images at, you click on that again, and probably gonna have to go back and see what image I want exactly. Um, in this situation, I probably want to choose something that looks a little bit crystal-like, like number five. Okay, so number five, it's gonna be number five to JPEG, open image, and um, yeah. The image should automat automatically um, be there. Okay, so we scroll back a little bit and X out of this using the ESC button, the ESC button, the escape button, and once again we're gonna have to um, render and see what it looks like over time. If no changes occur in your uh, your image, then probably gonna have to right click again and. Um, it's not probably, it's probably, what did I do wrong, um, images, colors, images, it's, it's probably not colors, simple image, um, it's a simple image, uh, at the moment, RGB, you draw, no, uh, not really, but, um, um, it's image, the, this, the texture materials, um, yeah, um, excuse me, I'm just trying to find out the exact uh, thing I used. Um, if that doesn't work, um, I will encourage you guys to change from sphere to about cube. 
and let's see what happens when we change that to okay. um, still no changes um, tube let's see what happens with tube um, click the add that button if no changes occur neither let's see what happens if we use flat just general flat Happens if no changes occur, um, and we probably shouldn't pack here um, because sometimes I, you know, have problems figuring out how uh, uh, things work with Wonder sometimes, but you shouldn't have any problem with this actually. Um, texture, um, I think we had a couple of textures to that, a preview. Show alpha of the preview movie image and all that. Destroy it once. Um, you have any problems in your image? Yeah, it's probably as a result of the image being uh, uh, a cylindrical uh, cylinder. Yeah, cylindrical image, whatever it's called. Okay, so once again, let's go to add. Hit the upper left corner and go to lamp and go to uh, point. Okay, um, probably gonna have to move this. Um, excuse me. To undo is Control Z to undo something if you're not really clear or you made a mistake, make a mistake or something. So let's click on this. Click add. Um, lamp and a point. Okay. Okay. So all we need is a point right now. So all I'm trying to do is add a. Oh, okay. Oh, I got. Yeah. Now I see what, what's going on. Probably gonna have to move this to this side a little bit. And let's see what happens. Let me do that. With the texture. Hmm. You guys can see it looks pretty nice. Um. The the dark side is normal, and we get to see the lights bouncing off the images, and making it look transparent. And this is actually looking pretty interesting. Okay, so when we get out of that, uh, get a light. There's nothing that we can actually do with that actually, but yeah, let's see what get that. Uh, um, click on this texture. I think we already clicked on this. Now let's let's move this back a little bit. Texture. Um. Okay. Because we yeah we already clicked on texture and we didn't really seem to have any changes going on. Um. So uh. Yeah. So I hope you guys will learn something on how to make. Uh, um, um, a shiny metal or iron. Uh, yeah, I would encourage you guys to play around with Blender a little bit to learn about the tabs and all its implications. And uh, I hope you guys would have a, a wonderful time. Uh, thanks for watching my videos. If you haven't subscribed yet, uh, I would encourage you to subscribe. And thank you very much and have a good one. Uh, peace.